back at it again. <laughs> you know what we're about to do? Get ready for the day and uh, start our journey. But first, gotta get situated. Welcome to the channel. What is up, y'all? <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you so much to this community. You guys are amazing. I want to send a shout out to Bromatic uh, Life Adventures. I'm going to put his channel down uh, below. He's actually been sending people from his channel over to my channel. So if you are new to this channel, uh, if you were recommended, I just, and both new and old, I just want to say thank you because again, without you, I couldn't do this. Without you, I wouldn't even be exploring the world like I am. So <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. As you can tell, we kind of sort of uh, camped out at Planet Fitness last night. We we're actually going to camp out at Walmart, but... Um, I checked the reviews and that specific Walmart wasn't having it. <laughs> so ended up coming over here. Like I said before, because the Planet Fitnesses in Texas are 24 hours, I was a bit skeptical about overnight camping at them. Uh, but so far, so good. I cannot complain. So of course, we are getting ready to go on our next camping adventure. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I need some coffee. So we are going to actually head over to Starbucks. So if you are team Starbucks, you know what time it is. <laughs> so let's uh, head on over there. You ever feel like you need instructions to order coffee? <laughs> well, that's how I feel about Starbucks. I literally feel like I need instructions in order for me to order coffee because when I go to Dunkin Donuts it's just a hey give me an iced coffee cream and sugar when you go to Starbucks it's on a completely different level of uh, uh I don't know <laughs> so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna order hmm maybe I'll take a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a side of grass sprinkled with some rain with a little dash of sun. <laughs> All right, here we go, y'all. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. That's right. Finally getting my eggs after my ranting. <laughs> I had to. I can't go too long without eggs <laughs> or I get hangry. So I finally got me some eggs, which is awesome because whew, there they are looking nice. <laughs> so I got that and then I got some fruit what's, you, what's, in, what's in here oh, we got some butters and stuff okay cool and then I got a side of fruit so yummy so so it's been a while since we did this how are you doing <laughs> like Wendy Williams how you doing <laughs> look I am doing well. I hope you guys are doing good too. But this is what I got. Ooh, I hope y'all can see that. Oh yes. This is what I been wanting so bad. When you're living in your car, whew, <laughs> and you can't cook, 
I tell you, you crave some of the craziest things because you can't have it all the time. And for me on the weekends, it's usually eggs. Usually during the week, I'm not gonna lie, I usually eat like one meal a day. I do intermittent fasting. Anyway, I fast during the week, so I usually eat about one meal a day. So on the weekends, it depends. I usually kinda, it depends. <laughs> I, I've been training my body to eat once once a day. I'm trying to lose some weight. Mm. Anyway, how are you guys doing out there? Um, now, um, just to kind of give you uh, a heads up, I have been actually uh, visiting some dealerships. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you know, my car is approaching 190,000 miles. Uh, so my biggest fear is... Uh, going on a long distance like trips and being stuck on the side of the road i mean let's be honest you know um, when your car i know some of the cars out there are pretty legit they go up to 300,000 miles but you know hyundai i'm not really sure if it's uh it's, well let's just put it this way it ain't no toyota or honda <laughs> so if it was a toyota or honda you know they have a reputation for you know uh the vehicles lasting for i mean toyota i looked online was like over three hundred thousand miles and i was like sign me up <laughs> believe it or not when i first got this car this car like i would say maybe a week or two after i bought this car it had a recall and i was freaking out because it was a, it was my first car and already this car is recalled i never told this to anyone but i never took my car into the shop to get it checked after the recall which is bad so definitely you don't want to do that so thankfully my car has been really awesome so I'm really grateful for that, but we'll see. We'll see down the road, but I'll see you in a few. We're going to actually go over to Walmart uh, here in a few. So I'm going to eat these eggs and I'll see you soon. So we made it to the campsite, um, pretty cool place, uh, as you can see, surrounded by some trees. Um, this is actually our site, so you have the table over there, and then of course we have a place to grill, and then over here we're just going to set up shop, throw the tent down there, and um, the cool thing is I am right near the bathroom. <laughs> so. For me, that's awesome because I probably use the bathroom a lot. I drink a lot, so that's definitely going to be helpful. I don't know if you can see, but over there, there's actually a lake over there. So it's actually uh, pretty cool. Uh, so once we're set up, we're going to actually go over there and check it out. So looking forward to that. But yeah, so let's uh, get started. I need to get my hat because whew, it's pretty hot over here. <laughs> So uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> 
time to get the kitchen prepped and ready to go. See you on the next video. Thank you.